So let's start to look how we can create a step line chart here. And now you can see here, instead of selecting, for example, the very first point or the last point of that section, we're going to select the middle point. So to create a step line chart in ChartJS4, first of all, we need to get a boiler template, which is this one here, which you can find on this specific link, which is in the description box. And once you're on here, just copy this chunk of code here. All right, and if you want to have the source code of this video and many other videos, check out my Patreon ChartJS, patreon.com ChartJS, where, where you can become a member and get the source code. All right, so what we're going to do is let's convert this first into a line chart. So I'm going to say here, this chart type, I'm going to scroll down here and say bar will become line. Let's save that, refresh, there we are. So the next thing what I want to do is I want to create or convert this line chart into a stepped line chart. For that, go back in here, you can go here up, say comma, and then I'm going to say a step. And we can say, for example, step equals true. If I save this, refresh, now we have a default step line chart. Basically we're done, but there are some nice features that you can consider here. So for example, we have this option here, but maybe your step line chart should be slightly different. We want to have the ending point being recorded here. So what we could do here is adding some options. If I do here before, it will be exactly the same as true. So that's a starting point. But what we can do as well is after. If I save this, refresh, and now you can see here what is happening. What you just saw here on Tuesday switched or swapped into the Monday area because it would just get the very ending point. And of course, if you want to have like the center point, what we can do here then is say middle. If I save this, refresh, and now the very center of this step line chart section is being selected. And there you are.